everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex and I'm here in Austin, Texas at the running event and Brian is here with us. Brian is the president of Jadora US and he has in his hands the Jadora Atomo V7000 V2. This is the made in Italy shoe from Jadora. What's new on the on the second version? So we, we adjusted a little bit of the upper materials to make the transition a little smoother, but it's something I'm most proud of that we are actually producing shoes in Italy. You know, the prototyping, the 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 manufacturing all being in the, our home country is, is something we are we're really proud of. So we started with the first Atomo, Atomo V7002. We'll transition into something else in 2025, but also we're bringing back in, in tennis category made in Italy, all these things for the future. And it's something we're, we're really excited about. So can you confirm, because this is quite special in 2023 or 2024, to have shoes made in Europe in a country like Italy, that must be expensive to do. Um, can you confirm everything is really made in Italy yeah, it's, or is it just assembled? No, it's, it's, it's expensive, but think about it like this. If you really want to build the best product, yeah, you start prototyping, because we do the prototyping in-house. We could, we could manufacture the first prototypes, go test them in the vineyards around Diodora, and then you start looking at every stitch. Blah, blah, blah. You do it all in-house, right? And then you manufacture in-house, you, uh, you elevate the level. So yes, it's more expensive. Uh, this trainer costs 240 for a max cushion trainer, so it's more 240 US dollars. So uh, it's different in Europe. It's worth it, you know? And it will be our pinnacle. We will have other shoes at different price points, but it's always gonna be our pinnacle. Can you give us more details about the foam compound here in the midsole? Uh, what type of foam do we have here? And in general, what's the stack height? What's the drop? This is one of our shoes that uses a five millimeter stack. Uh, five millimeter drop. It's meant to be a high mileage trainer. It's meant to be, I know it looks very beautiful. So uh, it's a beautiful like shoe. Like when yeah. uh, musicians ask us for shoes or when our soccer players ask us, they ask for this shoe because it's uh, also beautiful. But it's a high mileage trainer. It's meant to go do, you know, 100K weeks and, and, and really put miles in it. The material we use in it is called DD Anima. We have four different levels of DD Anima. The top, top level is in our racing shoes, which we'll, we'll check out in a second in our, in our spikes, which will be coming. And then it goes down into our, our straight training shoes. This is one of the, the training levels of Didi Anima. Then we have like the tempo level, then we have the spike level, then we have the, the marathon shoe level. Can you disclose if that's EVA based on, on this um, um, tier of, of your folk? It's a component, it's a compound that's just for a Diodora that we developed ourselves. In-house compounds, yeah. that's also rare. <laughs> when can people get their hands on this shoe, Brian? So the V7001 is out now, the V7002 launches in, in January. Awesome, thank you so much. And if you wanna see more Diodora stuff for 2024, there's a playlist right here, make sure you click on it. Brian has a carbon shoe coming uh, oh. for you. <laughs> Ciao.